and welcome to 200 North Main, the show where we talk about all the wonderful things happening at the Wallingford Public Library, located at, guess where? 200 <laughs> North Main. My name is Julie Rio. I'm the Adult Programming and Community Services Librarian. And joining me today is Sunny Scarpa, who is the head of Children's Services. Hi, Sunny. Hello, and welcome. I know Thank this you. is your first time doing this show, and you're new to the library. How long have you been here now? It is. I've been here for four months. <clears throat> today is actually my anniversary, my hey. four month anniversary. It started in January. Nice. So it's just so great to be here because, as you know, this is a wonderful library. I've admired this library for years, and it's really the gold standard by which other libraries are measured in Connecticut. You know that. I, I think so, too. I mean, I don't like to brag, but <laughs> it's, it's not, true. <laughs> it's not bragging. It's true. And wonderful co-workers yeah. that I have yeah. to work with. Yeah. It's just, it's a dream come true for me. Yeah, thank you. So. I, I feel like this is a place where the level of professionalism is really high, mm. but the level of fun is also really high. Yes. And I feel like you fit in so well oh, thank with you. your crazy socks <laughs> and, and jokes and personality. So it's really great to have you. Well, it's great to be here. And I can't believe that today we're going to talk about summer reading because it seems like just yesterday we were talking yes. about snowy day activities. <laughs> <laughs> and the weather has been kind of crazy, so it hasn't really felt like spring, but mm -hmm. summer reading is upon us. Yes. Um, so you are going to see how crazy we go in the summer. We, we really do go all out, uh, especially in the children's room, um, but teen and adult as well. Mm -hmm. But especially for us, the, the children's department here really focuses on uh, preschool through grade five. And that's a really critical time for supporting reading during the summer uh, because of the importance of reading on grade level by fifth or sixth grade, uh, where they're really reading in every subject of school to learn different content. So reading mm. is important even in math class, even in history class, you need to be able to read large chunks and understand by that point. So in the summer, what can happen if kids aren't reading for fun and engaging their brain during the summer is they can lose up to two to three months worth of reading skills. And that really puts them at a disadvantage when they go back to school in the fall. Um, the good news is that a lot of research has been done in the past, I'd say, 10 years. So new studies are showing that you don't have to send kids to school during the summer. It really is enough just to have them reading for fun, picking things that they like, graphic novels, audiobooks are great. Um, and that really, it just is enough to keep their mind engaged where they're able to sustain those skills. Yeah, you mentioned audiobooks, and I know mm -hmm. some people who, some kids who have trouble reading, look at the book and then listen to the audiobook along with it, and that helps them. Yes, yeah. And a lot of times, you know, kids can understand a lot more and benefit from the vocabulary in an audiobook, mm. whereas, you know, for something like Harry Potter, if you look at the book, it can be very intimidating, mm. but reading the book is a little more approachable, a little more accessible, and, and they'll love the story. I mean, young kids really love st fantastical stories like Harry Potter, so sure. an audiobook's a great way to start with those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Takes them away to someone somewhere different. Yes. Takes them on vacation without leaving their bedroom, perhaps. Exactly, exactly. Summer reading is also a great way to uh, be like a boredom buster, uh, <laughs> so that really can be helpful for parents. And then, and in order to encourage all of this summer reading and learning that we hope kids are doing, we have over 70 programs planned. 70 programs. I counted them up last night. Oh, boy. Over 70 programs in a six-week time period. <laughs> So as you Ruth, are going to be very busy this summer. Yes, yes. So my predecessor Ruth Gaffey uh, used to say, "Eat your Wheaties," mm. and that's kind of we go into eat your Wheaties mode in the mm -hmm. summer in the children's room. Yeah. And you have a great team working with you. You've got Allison yes. and Carrie and Alyssa. Yes. Oh boy, it's, that's quite. That's a great team. It's a dream team. Yeah. It's a dream team. It really is. They're always coming up with new ideas, creative things. We had a, a baby toddler dance party yesterday, which was adorable. Really, really fun. Yes. Stuff. Oh, yeah. The kids had a great time. I think the parents had a great time. The too. parents <laughs> had a great time too, and they didn't need to go to the gym that day. So <laughs> it worked out great. <laughs> 
So let me tell you about the the big summer program we're yeah, most let, let's excited talk about. about this yeah. on the table right between <laughs> us. So this is my prop to remind me to tell you um, our our big program that we're doing this summer that we're really excited about has to do with NASA, Ooh. the real NASA. Um, Miss Allison got this idea and started working on a proposal uh, back in January, I want to say, to, uh, and there's, anytime you do something with NASA, there's a lot of paperwork involved. Um, so we didn't find out until March, but we actually have been approved for a downlink, an official NASA downlink. And on July 5th, we are going to be Skyping with astronaut Jack Fisher while he's on the International Space Station. Oh, wow, that is so cool. We're so excited. So our whole summer theme, um, we've really uh, designed around the outer space theme this year. So we're calling it Race to Space. We're starting out with this awesome downlink. We're inviting kids to uh, submit questions, and we're going to be able to uh, have a list of uh, up to 20 questions to ask. And so then that's a live conversation yes! with an astronaut yes! who is in space. Yes. That yes. is very cool. We Can just... adults come to that? OK, so <laughs> we're a little worried about the space. We do okay. have a space limit. Uh, so it's going to be the main room where it's happening. It's going to be limited to families with children uh, zero, uh, no, age 5 to grade 5. We are planning to have an overflow room okay. where we'll be showing the live broadcast from NASA TV. Wow. So that's an option yes. for staff members, <laughs> interested adults. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And uh, and and anybody at home too. If you're if you're at work and you're able to schedule a, you know, a coffee break around that time, they'll be able to watch uh, live on NASA TV as well, which wow. is great. Wow. That yep. is really special. Yeah. That's terrific. So we're really really excited about that. We've been learning a lot about space, about the NASA program. Um, and we're really excited. This is going to be sort of a kickoff for us to a whole summer filled with STEM learning and STEM really just being science, yes. technology, engineering, and math. Exactly. Right? Okay. Oh, and we also add in uh, arts. So you could call it STEAM. STEAM. So you ah, could call yes. it STEAM. We have a lot of arts and crafts stuff going as well. So I think I, I'm thinking our enthusiasm is going to be pretty contagious to the kids. Yeah. I think they're going to be really excited about. Um, the programs, we also have a um, inflatable planetarium called Star Lab coming. That's going to be a cool opportunity to learn about space. And we have, I don't know if you've seen it yet, we actually bought a tabletop telescope called an Orion. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be loaning that out to families starting in the summer. So they can take that home, watch a couple YouTube videos on how to use it, and really explore the night sky. That wow. will be available for adults as well. Oh, so you can check that out. <laughs> that is really cool. It's going to be really fun. So yeah, yeah, you can go home and check out the stars in your own mm -hmm. backyard. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. Oh, besides programs, mm -hmm. I should tell you a little bit about the regular part of our summer reading program. I haven't mentioned because that yet. Because there's a regular part there's in addition to all parts. the special events. There's so many different moving parts. <laughs> Um, so to encourage the kids to read throughout the summer, we offer a lot of incentives. Mm -hmm. So there's prizes, of course, because summer reading and prizes, you know, go together like PB and J. <laughs> but we're also doing this. Uh, we're also doing this fun thing where kids are going to earn tokens, these little star tokens, for every 100 minutes of reading. And 100 minutes might sound like a lot, but we're actually just encouraging kids to read 20 minutes a day, mm. which is very doable. If you read 20 minutes a day, five days a week, you would get a star token once a week. Okay. And actually, we have overachievers in Wallingford. <laughs> so we'll have kids who read 1,000 minutes you know, in July. It'll be great. So every 100 minutes, they'll come in, they'll get a star token. And we have these really cute little faux rocket ships. And we have chosen three related charities. The local one is the planetarium in town. We have the Planetary Society, which is run by Bill Nye. And then we have Astronomers Without Borders. 
and the kids will choose which charity they want to support with mm -hmm. their token and we'll put it in the rocket ship and then at the end of the summer whichever rocket ship is most full of tokens will receive a little donation from the staff at the Wally for Public Library. Oh, how nice. And those donations are coming from our casual Friday slash Saturdays. Yay, casual Yay. Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The staff loves yeah. casual Fridays. Yeah. It's yeah. a great opportunity, especially in the summer when mm -hmm. we're so busy, we're, we're constantly running around. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to do that a little bit more comfortably. Yeah. <laughs> And it's a nice time to also wear crazy socks, and and uh, and we're gonna Love have the crazy uh, socks. yeah, we're gonna have some. The children's room's gonna have some some special space themed summer t-shirts as well. Yeah, very cool. So we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And you probably haven't seen how how crazy we go with the prizes. So some of the prizes that every kid earns when they read a hundred um, minutes, they'll earn things like. Uh, free passes to the Beardsley Zoo, free uh, passes to places around town like Pottery Piazza and mm. the local bowling alley. Nice. So every kid will get that. Then when they finish their 600 minutes, which is the goal for everyone. 600 minutes of reading. 600 minutes of reading. That's six weeks worth of 20 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. So when they finish that, they'll get some other things like... Burgers, bagels, coupons, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, so they can treat themselves Very to a, good, a yeah. fun little celebratory lunch. And then they also receive a raffle ticket. And we really go big with the raffle, thanks to a lot of local companies. And we give opportunities to win things like these fun moon shoes. Moon shoes? Yes. And also are, things like... What are moon shoes? You don't remember these from the 90s? No, I don't. Oh, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm a little old, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> these are from my child. I really okay. coveted these when I was young. Okay. They're basically like small trampolines you strap to your feet. Oh, do they come in adult sizes? <laughs> Well, well, have to tell you, behind the scenes, the children's librarians have been trying these oh, out. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, they must be librarian tested and approved. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So they they go up to, uh, there's a decent weight limit on these. So uh, we've tried them out. Uh, we also have, we, ha we haven't debuted it yet, but we have a fun little video trailer for the summer reading program. Ooh. We go to we go to every elementary school in town and we do presentations for <clears throat> every single class about the summer reading program to get them excited. We talk about when it starts and the different kind of books they can read. It's really fun and then we'll end with this little video. It's just a fun, really silly, crazy little video. <laughs> kind of showing our theme for now, the year. Now, will that be posted on our website as well? It will be. It okay. will be after Which we start Which I want to remind to everyone is wallingfordlibrary.org mm -hmm. and reminds everyone of what the phone number mm -hmm. is for the children's department. Oh, for the children's department. Okay, yes. I can do that. I don't, okay. I don't actually know the main number. Um, if you want to call the children's room directly, that's 203-284-6436. And we actually, we do re require registration for a lot of our summer programs because okay. they do tend to fill up. That's good to so know. So it's a good idea once your kids come home with the flyer, um, you can check out the start time for a lot of registrations okay. for that. Well, I think let's take a break. And okay. when we come back, we'll talk about the teen summer reading and the adult summer program. Fun. But I want to leave you with this thought. What is brown has a head and a tail, but no body? The answer when we come back. Think about it. Welcome back to 200 North Main. Uh, today we're in the children's room at the Wallingford Public Library. And when we left the break, I gave you something to think about. What is brown, has a head and a tail, but no body? I have no idea. Don't look at me. A penny. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that took me a second. Oh. <laughs> 
I am uh, known or uh, not, maybe not well known for my jokes and riddles. I think uh, infamous is infamous. the word. Oh, you're yes, for. perhaps, perhaps <laughs> that is the. Um, Anyway, uh, so we talked about the children's yes. summer reading program. Let's talk about the teen summer reading program. Mm -hmm. uh, our teen librarian, Jennifer Nash, has put together a great program this summer. She always does. It's yes, always she fun always to see what does. she's going to come up with. Teen summer reading 17, Game On, is the theme this nice. year. I love it. Uh, it runs from July 1st through April, uh, April, <laughs> August 26th, <laughs> and teens entering grades 6 through 12 are eligible to participate. They get one entry for every book they read, mm -hmm. and that she has great prizes. She has Walmart gift cards nice. and Minecraft gift cards and a giant gummy bear. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen this thing yet, but I've heard tale of it. That's and probably gonna be the most popular the most prize. most popular <laughs> prize is the giant gummy bear, I think so. She's kicking off the program, the whole summer series, with a game truck coming to the library I've in the parking lot. I've seen that. That's gonna be great. It's like a big uh, Winnebago, I think. <laughs> And you go on the bus and there's all kinds of video games and interactive games that the teens can play and just really get into, you know, the summer reading fun, program. Fun. Yeah. Then she has a whole host of other um, programs, plans for the teens. There's a video game workshop where the teens can learn to create and design their own video game. That's perfect. There's a henna program, nice. there's a cooking program, uh, different arts and crafts, mm. really something for everyone. Perfect. Yeah. So I think that's going to I think the teens are really going to enjoy Game On. Yep, they're going to love it. Yeah. Um, and then the adult side uh, I'm not calling it a summer reading program because I'm focusing more on all of the wonderful things that Wallingford Public Library has to offer. Mm -hmm. So I'm calling that it's a summer thing. Nice. Do okay. your thing at the Wallingford Public Library. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of what kind of things what kind of things are you thinking? I'm of? glad you asked that, Sunny. So you can read, create, learn, and play. And if you do those things using the resources available at the Wallingford Public Library, you earn entry into a drawing for eight great gift cards and one great uh, grand prize. Ooh. And all the drawings are going to be at the end of the summer mm -hmm. so that every time you enter, you can enter to win the same gift card, increase your chances, ah. or you can enter to win different ones and, you know, thereby nice. yeah, have a greater nice. choice of things that you might win. Now, what kind of gift cards are we talking about? Are they to local? They're things? to all, yeah, local restaurants mm -hmm. and Ooh. entertainment. All, I should say all nice. Wallingford nice. restaurants and attractions. Oh, that's fantastic. And so if you go to our website, wallingfordlibrary.org, you can see the list. And also this year, for the first time, you can enter online to win. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, so you starting July 1st, you can come into the library, fill out an entry form, mm -hmm. or you can go online. Once you go to our website, you'll have the link. Mm -hmm. And so this way, if you're on vacation and you just finished a book, you can enter. Perfect. If yeah. it's a rainy day and you don't feel like leaving the house, you can just go on your computer and enter the raffle that way. That's really convenient. So, yeah. Fun. So, like I said, you can read. You can read a book, you can read a magazine, mm -hmm. you can download a book from Overdrive, mm -hmm. download an audio book from Hoopla. Do you mm -hmm. use audio uh, Overdrive and Hoopla? I do. You know, as a librarian, <laughs> obviously, I prefer, you know, the traditional book. But I have to say, Overdrive has been a lifesaver anytime you're traveling. Um, because I tend to run out of books very quickly, so if, if I'm going to go away for a four-day weekend, I could end up hauling four books with me, you know, yeah. depending on how busy I'm going to be. Mm -hmm. And with Overdrive, you can download 10 books, and it takes up much less space in your suitcase. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. It's not as heavy to haul around, and you can get more anytime you run out. Yep. And with your library card, they're free. You mm -hmm. don't even have to go you know, on Amazon and pay for those. So it's it's been a lifesaver. And I know Hoopla has been, I don't use it myself, but it's been very popular with families. Yeah, I use Hoopla because uh, things are available all the time. You don't have to wait, yes. like sometimes on I Overdrive. Love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So did you read the book about the broken pencil? The book about the broken pencil. Oh, uh, never mind. It's pointless. Uh. <laughs> 
So oh, in addition no. to reading, you can also create. We have yes. our wonderful new collaboratory space, which is a 2,400 square foot maker space, co-working space, digital media lab. Yes. And we have all kinds of technical and you know high tech, low tech gadgets yeah, in that. there. I love that. We have different programs that run in the collaboratory. They'll be running throughout the mm -hmm. summer. So if you come to one of those programs, or if you just come to the collaboratory mm -hmm. and work on your scrapbook, or use our nice. electric sewing machine, you can enter into the drawing to win one of the gift cards. Perfect. Yeah. It's, a good, it's a good excuse to come play around in there, I think. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. It's a Fine. great place to come Fine. and play. Mm -hmm. um, another thing you can do, read, create, learn. Uh, through the Wallingford Public Library website, we have access to um, a portal called Universal Class. Mm -hmm. And they offer self-paced classes on arts and crafts and different office uh, solutions. Uh, also, lynda.com. Mm -hmm. They have more than 5,000 classes that are taught by industry experts, and they're all video-based. I love that. So yeah, so you sit and you watch and you learn. Also, you can learn a language through transparent language. So all of these wonderful resources are available with your valid library card. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta -da! <laughs> yes, the magical card that opens the doors. It always ends up doors. coming back to the library yes, card. Yes, it does. <laughs> so read, create, learn, play. We have 35 discounted passes to museums and local uh, attractions. Yes, I was wondering how you were going to get to the play. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Those are really so a good resource. So you can get a discounted pass to the Beardsley Zoo, the mm -hmm. New Britain Museum of American Art, mm -hmm. the Wadsworth Athenaeum, the Peabody Museum in New Haven. Mm -hmm. You can borrow one of those from the library with your library card and then return it when you're done with it, and that's it. Yeah, my favorite one to check out personally is the State Parks Pass. <gasps> That's a great one over the because summer, yeah. Because you can go to Hammonasset and not pay for parking with yes. your pass. That's a, a good amount of money. Yes, so that I, pass I is a that hot commodity over yeah, the it summer. Really is. Yeah. It is. Uh, some people don't know you can, if you're Wallingford resident, you can reserve those in advance on our website. Yeah. So another reason to go to our website and just reserve that mm -hmm. online. It's very convenient. Another way you can play is on the, let's see, first and third Wednesdays of every month at 6.30 in the collaboratory, they have game night. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, so <laughs> they have a, a lot of board games, so you can come with a friend, play a game, come and make new friends. Yeah. Or you could bring one of your own board games and play with, you know, cool. whoever's there or your friends. Or, cool. Yeah, it's a really cool space. That's in conjunction with the local game shop, I think? Is yes, that, yeah, it is. With the cool name. Uh, Dragon's which, Lair? Yeah. Is it Dragon's Lair? Thank you, yes. Yeah, I, remember, I remember it was some, some cool sounding name. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think they're right down the street, so that's, yeah. that's a fun collab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I like it. And another way you can play at the library is every Friday in July and August, we're going to be showing a Friday movie matinee. Fun. Which is going to be a classic summer movie. So we've got Jaws coming up first. Oh my gosh. Da -da, da -da -da. Still Look haunts, outside of here. Still haunts my dreams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and A League of Their Own and Dirty Dancing. Oh, oh my gosh. You picked the best classics. I, I love well, it. I tried. That's I tried. Great. So that's every Friday in the community okay. room at 3 o'clock. Okay. Great way to beat the heat. It's true. It's <laughs> true. You know a it's lot, get a lot of people July, do August. come here for the great air conditioning, mm -hmm. and we do not mind. No. Um, now, is that BYOP? Bring your own popcorn? Uh, yes, it okay. is BYOP. Bring your own popcorn. Yes, bring your own popcorn. <laughs> nice. We'll provide the movie and nice. the seat. You bring your own popcorn and snacks. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, definitely, I mean, there are so many wonderful resources available through the Wallingford Public Library that I want people to be able to take advantage of all of them. Mm -hmm. So read, create, learn, and play, and you get entered into a drawing to win a cool gift card. I mean, what could be better? I agree. <laughs> now, from my perspective, um, you know, I know some libraries just do summer reading for the kids, which obviously is important, but I really love that we do it for every age group. Adults, why should they miss out on all the fun? Why shouldn't they get a prize once in a while? But at the same time, even from, from the kids' perspective, the number one indicator of children 
loving to read is if their parents love to read. Mm. So I love that a whole family with kids of all different ages, parents of all different ages, they can all come and get involved with summer reading. And the younger kids learn by watching the older kids and the grown-ups, and it really means the, the whole community can get in on the fun and support the reading and the academic success of our kids, which yeah. is great. That is great. Yeah. yeah, the family who reads together stays together. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is that something a, like that? Is that yeah. an, you know, did I just make that we up can myself? Make that a thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll I, work think, on I it. think we should make that a thing. <laughs> Fun. So you talking about outer space? It makes me think. Why did Mickey Mouse go into outer space? Why did Mickey Mouse go into outer space? <laughs> to find Pluto. Oh, come on, Sonny. <laughs> That's a good one. I might, I yeah. might steal that. Okay, I might well, steal that yeah, this summer. Definitely. <laughs> or how about this one? I'm reading a book about anti gravity. I just can't put it down. Oh, <laughs> that's another I good like one. I like that. I that's like that. That's a good that. one for the kids. I think we're gonna have to steal that. You know, we're we're putting together some fun uh, outer space trivia. Oh, uh, so okay. that the kids can really learn about the space station before yeah. we talk to the astronaut. Okay, I don't know how. I might have to throw those <laughs> in there just for fun. <laughs> I, I don't know how much <laughs> trivia that is, but <laughs> trivial maybe. Yeah, but. just throw it in there. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, Sunny, this uh, this time has gone by so fast, it's been fun. and there's just so much information and so many wonderful things at the Wallingford Public Library that I'm glad we had a chance to sit down and talk. I hope everybody will visit the website at wallingfordlibrary.org, or call the main number, which is 203-265-6754. I have to look down at my paper <laughs> to remember that number. So come check us out at 200 North Main Street and see all the wonderful things that are happening at the Wallingford Public Library. Our doors open to endless possibilities. Thanks for joining us.